All right, so decider game here, Dreamcatcher we're on uh, for this decider between Faye and Stanley. Um, we are, of course, the best of three, and I'm looking at Stanley in the bottom right playing Protoss. Faye also Protoss up in the top left. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's an unusual location for your first pylon, but it's fine. I mean, against Protoss, you know, we, it's not like we've seen a great deal of adept shades or anything like that that you need to keep out of your base. So I don't really mind it anywhere at all. Um, but on behind the mineral line has the, the nice side effect that you can throw it on a shield battery here. Um, and a shield battery on the back of your mineral line here protects you pretty well against things like um, oracles. So an oracle flies in. It, uh, with an overcharge on the shield battery, the Oracle doesn't really get anything done. Um, or if it does, it uses so much energy, it runs out of energy with only a couple of kills, even if you don't get the overcharge off. So uh, it's going to be Faye um, dropping the Expo first. And um, notably, Faye has got Forge before uh, side course. That's pretty weird. Um, my suspicion is that is just going to be a safety forge for a cannon at the front or something like that. Um, but Zealot's building in both gateways and no sign of a side core, which is worrying. Um, you, you know, the side core is a critical element of all tech for Protoss. You, you can't really tech without the side core. Uh, Stanley looking uh, much more normal, I suppose, but no expo yet from Stanley. And this is becoming. Uh, yeah, I suppose we're only at three minutes. It's not too bad, but but yeah, this is a pretty lit expand. I mean, arguably these four zealots, you know, unless you're going to go and do something with these, they're a nexus, aren't they? Those four zealots. Um, yeah. Uh, interestingly, five zealots on the other side of the map, um, which uh, with the faster nexus. So you know what gives? What gives, man? I don't know. Um, however, significantly more gas has been mined for Stanley, so um, he is going to be able to crank out Stalkers now if that's what he chooses to do, or he's going to be able to uh, go into some other tech and he will have gas available for that. Um, Faye, on the other hand, with only one gas uh, that he's mining from, is going to struggle to build um, Stalkers or anything else for that matter. Uh, so this one Zealot comes in and has a look, sees the cannon at the front door, uh, catches a glimpse of these uh, this cell at heavy composition. Um, now neither player as yet has a twilight, um, which is that worker trap? I think it might be. Um, which yeah, it is more important for Faye really because because zealots with thought charge are not. They're just not that good. Zealots with charge are good. Zealots with thought charge, not so much. So, you know, if you are going to have a, a really kind of zealot heavy composition, you have to have that charge upgrade. Um, otherwise, you're going to find yourself in trouble. Uh, Stan, on the other hand, with stalkers in the mix as well, less of a big deal. Although, of course, blink is a good upgrade and charge is a still a good upgrade. Um, so Prism is coming out and, and the fact that there's a Robo Bay uh, sort of suggests that we're going to see what is this, you know. Uh, the fact that there's a Robo Bay um, sort of suggests that we're going to see maybe Colossus Disruptor or something like that. Would have loved to have seen a Disruptor drop, um, but that isn't what's going to happen on this occasion. Anyway, uh, it looks like maybe Stanley is got, has got something in mind here, and um, yeah, this seems like an odd angle to come in for the prism. You know, this tends to be the way you would come in. Uh, because here's the front door, so you know you can drop a couple of zealots here, get a bit of work done, and it takes a while for this stuff to get over there. Uh, when it does come over there, you can just lift up and fly away. As it is, uh, drop units in here, this stuff will be much quicker to respond. This is just bizarre, I don't really get it. Um, I mean, if you get away with it for a long time, then sure, why not? Um, I, I, you know, building a ninja, I don't mind. Uh, hide in tech, I don't mind, but building a ninja and putting important tech structures next to it, I just don't like it. You know, if this gets discovered, you're so far from home, you can't really reinforce it. It just gets shut down and you lose your robo and you lose your robo bay as well. Um, so he's researching the range upgrade for Colossus, but weirdly not building Colossus. 
uh, which is interesting. This is going to be unfortunate timing because Faye has just moved out just as uh, this bunch of stalkers warps in. Now on the flip side of that, that is a warp in that Stanley won't have at home. But with the shield battery, you cannot break this. This is suicide. Um, so this is uh, a bad, bad fight for Faye. And, and he is a little unlucky that uh, his move out sort of coincided with this stalker warp in. I'm a little, um, I'm just, let's just back it up a minute because I, I'm a little kind of curious about the timing of this move out. Look, let's, let's start down here. Um, you've got an immortal coming out, but you've got Colossus range, but you're not building Colossus. Um, this immortal comes out and then you go and you attack with, with the, I don't know, like a Colossus would help here. Um, but yeah, to be honest, you know, if you see this, uh, just just run like, like that. That isn't, you're not going to break that. Um, so hold on. That's because uh, it's all well and good to say when you see this. But uh, do bear in mind that that Faye can't see up the ramp. But but nevertheless, um, yeah, I, I think the amount of fire you're getting in the face uh, would be a reasonable indication that it's all bad. Um, uh, the, the better thing to have done here, you see these, you see this, go and kill this, you know, don't like trying to fight here is, is, is pretty horrible. Um, like most of these stuff is actually not really up to much at the minute. Uh, but this is a horrible fight to take, whereas you could have come over here and killed this. Uh, and even if Stanley comes to defend it, at least you've got a chance in open ground of choosing uh, to run or choosing to engage. Um, yeah, as it was, however, uh, Stanley's only just too big, um, which, you know, uh, shouldn't have been the case really because Faye had the faster expo had got the ninja based on here mining, uh, so did have the income to outproduce them, uh, but didn't turn those minerals into stuff. GG.